Greetings and salutations, and welcome to an unboxing. I've been waiting for this for a while. As uh, as you might be able to tell, or if you know me, I'm a little bit of a Weird Al fan here. You know, wait, we're back here. This is is this all my Weird Al stuff? Yeah, pretty much. But not anymore. This is. <laughs> I've been waiting for this now since they first announced it, like over. Like two years ago, I don't know. But anyway, let's get into this, shall we? This is the squeeze box. The full collection of Weird Al's oh, studio albums. Plus the uh, Medium Rarities album. All housed in Annoying Deep. So let's. Shall we? Ah, uh, tape. There we go. Inbox. Out of the way. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. This little accordion here. Replica keys and the bellows and stuff. Obviously, they don't work, but what are you going to do? <laughs> and then on the side here, we have this little, this little book with all kinds of pictures and liner notes all that beautiful stuff I'm gonna get into that a little later but la pièce de résistance if you will <laughs> there we go so they fold out like this now you could get the CD or the vinyl collection but I got the uh, the CDs because <laughs> I don't know a turntable. Let's expand this. Ooh. But the nice thing about it, though, is even if you get the CD, you can still get the full-size uh, artwork. This one's kind of funky, though. All right, so let's go through. So each of the little folds here, I don't know what it's called. So we first start with... Self-titled album, Weird Al Yankovic. Again, like I said, you got the full-size uh, artwork, which is nice. But on the back, see a little sleeve there with the CD. Track list. So, yeah. so not as thick as a, uh, as a record, but still sweet nonetheless. Next up, in 3D. Of course... Those who do know me know that I had a radio show and uh, used this as inspiration for my poster. I'll probably post it up here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gotta be careful sliding these back in. And Dare to be Stupid. Classic album. I should say they're all classic. Can't even tell where I am. <laughs> I do. I love the full-size artwork on the back, too. It's beautiful. And then next is Poker Party. This one actually is the only Weird Al album I've never owned. Like, you see these ones on CD. I've owned a bunch of them on cassette, but this is the only one I never actually owned, I believe. Uh, even though a lot of these songs I have had on the, uh, the Greatest Hits over here. But yeah, some of them I'd, I've gotten them. I gotten it digitally though, but uh, I've never owned it physically. And then, even worse, gotta love that. Uh, fat. The song is just six words long. Good old days. I love good old days. And Melanie. I love Melanie too. Next up. UHF. 
Another one I've owned a few times. I've owned it on VHS, I've owned it on DVD, and I own it on Blu-ray. Now I own it on CD as well. Actually, no, no, I did. I did once own this on CD or cassette. I don't know what happened to it though. Uh, I moved so many. I moved so many times. Probably got lost. And then in the deep end, after the uh, after the greatest hits, it seemed like. Never really heard anything from him. And then suddenly, Smells Like Nirvana came out. And this was probably, aside from the, uh, aside from the greatest hits, probably the first one I owned. And then we're moving on. Alapalooza. <laughs> Wonderful claymation music video for Jurassic Park. Uh, and you even got the, uh, Harvey the Wonder Hamster theme song, which, of course, is importantly iconic. <laughs> Bad Hair Day as is over there, now is over here. So there's going to be a few duplicates, but these are all remasters as well, so they sound better. And, again, full-size artwork is just beautiful. Oh, I saw a calendar. I saw a calendar online that has them all as the months as well, so I think I think I have to get that. And running with scissors. Now the greatest thing about running with scissors, uh, it was my first concert ever. Uh, he was performing in Halifax in 1999, and I got there nice and early to sit, you know, to get as close as I could. And when I got there, I met. I met this awesome, this awesome other fan, this mega fan, if you will. <laughs> anyway, I met her, and we sat together, with, you know, with her other friends as well. And while she was going backstage, I kind of snuck in with them, and uh, yeah, got an autograph. So great first concert. <laughs> and I ran, I actually ran into her uh, many years later. The next time he came this way it was a few years ago. So it took about 16 years for him to come back to this part of Canada, but it was still great nonetheless. I got to meet Steve that time. That was great. And then we got Poodle Hat. Now, Poodle Hat, Poodle Hat has no actual... Oh, I suppose it kind of has a video for Bob. But no full official video. There would have been one for Couch Potato, but Eminem was... Well, Eminem was being Eminem, if you will. And next up, after Le Poodle Hat, well, I suppose you can see right there too, straight into Linwood, <laughs> white and nerdy. Um, I believe that was his, one of his first uh, top hits. It's also my son's favorite. <laughs> and sweater, yes, of course. Uh, plus, I got the uh, originally I got the the two disc set, so that comes with the music videos. La la la. I just love this set. This is just beautiful. Alpocalypse. I was so excited that this, when this was coming out. Just love it. And, you know, <laughs> performed this way, CNR, Skipper Dan. Uh, another tattoo. Stuff more than that crap to me is still one of my favorites as well. <laughs> And then, next time he came, mandatory fun. It was beautiful when he was releasing the individual um, videos, the seven videos over seven days or whatever it was. That was a great week. And then it was a great birthday, too, because you know, he was performing in Moncton, and he was performing in Halifax, but since Halifax was on my birthday, I had to go. Sadly, didn't get to meet him or get a picture with him like I was hoping. But again, I did get to meet Steve J, so that was pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, between there and there, that's how long it took Weird Al to come back to Atlantic Canada. And his, even, even his next self-indulgent tour, whatever. I'm not coming here, but whatever, I digress. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take 16 years. I don't 
need to take my grandchildren to go see him. I want to take my children. <laughs> and then the uh, okay, this is a little weird because it's facing this way. But I gotta flip it over. Otherwise, it's upside down. I don't know if that's just a misprint or what, but eh, whatever. <laughs> so these are the medium rarities. These are the songs that uh, never really got released or demos or things like that. Homer and Marge from Simpsons. Uh, it's My World and We're All Living in It from Milo Murphy's Law. That new version of Happy Birthday is uh, Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye. Rap Battle. And Beat on the Brat, which... That's Ramones. Is that... I'm going to have to listen to that, but... Yeah. Beat on the Brat, I mean, that's another Ramones version, but... Oh, so that ended. So, yeah. Then, as he said, probably the most pirated album of the year. So let's slide this back in. And that... That... That is the squeeze box. A beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, I love it. Huge, huge thank you to my mother. Uh, I was going to buy this one way or the other, but, uh, you know, it's a gift from my mother for birthday slash Christmas, whatever. Now, there's also a shirt and magnet thing that's supposed to come along, but that was shipped separately. That's actually on its way. So until then... This is it. This is Al. This is me. Thank you for joining me. Peace out.